so sorry about your brother. I honestly I have no idea what that might feel like. But I'm sure it is terrible and I'm I'm truly sorry. I wish that I could be of any help to you um, on that matter, but you know, all, all the things that cause like recurring memories for me, it's, it's usually not that bad. My mind works in very weird ways. Uh, here's an example, you're talking about trains. Um, when I think of trains, I think of my friend who did a photo shoot of a train and when it was still. Which makes me think of photographers doing shoots of trains. Which makes me think of this girl who I knew in elementary school who took pictures uh, with her and her friends on train tracks. Which reminds me of the time that I went to her birthday party and they were playing with brats and I felt really awkward because I thought brats were stupid which made me think of when I was coming home from that party with my mom and we saw corn on the side of the road just random like feed corn and my mom got stopped the car got out and filled up a bag of feed corn that was just sitting there on the side of the road for her squirrels squirrels make me think of my grandparents house and how my grandma always would feed the squirrels and how now that there are all these new houses and stuff she's not allowed to feed them anymore which makes me quite sad because I like the squirrels and she liked the squirrels and the big houses are are in the way of everything and they're taking over this nice little neighborhood called the Mons, Rosamond, Newmond all the streets were named Mon, which makes me think of during the summer when I was little, we'd road trip to my grandparents' place and the trees would go over the road like a tunnel and it'd make a tunnel out of the leaves. I always thought that was so magical. And that makes me think of the tunnel that goes into the town. I'd always hold my breath because it was good luck, because a friend told me it was good luck. It never brought me any good luck. It didn't bring me any bad luck. I've had family members die. And I always see my family get emotional about it and sad and stuff, but I've, I've never experienced that. I don't know. So I guess to answer your question, um, yes, but I don't deal with it. I, I've never needed to deal with it. It's just something that, that happens that I accept. Um, yeah. Helen's question, if I were to interact with only one animal the rest of my life, that is a very hard question. I think I... I don't know. Elephants are fabulous. They're so smart. Um, so smart. Uh, chimpanzees. Apparently they're the most like us. That would be nice. Get an insight into the humans through chimpanzees. Dogs are so fluffy. I don't know. One of those three. Do I ever do stay up late or do weird things because of dedication? Uh, yes. Not necessarily staying up because I need my sleep. Uh, but I do do a lot of weird things for my love of photography. Uh, yesterday I was laying in the mud. Uh, I wiped mud on my face. Have a good week.